Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so this is the first in a series of videos on sigma notation. And if you watch every video in this series, um, then you'll have a very strong foundation on sigma notation. Um, you'll have the same kind of foundation that you'd uh, get from uh, sitting in any advanced pre-calculus uh, class that covers sigma notation. I guarantee you that. All right, cool. Now, if you're curious about what's to come in this series of videos, um, after this introduction, we'll have some examples, um, some basic and slightly harder examples. And then uh, thereafter, we'll have a video on the properties of sigma with some examples of those properties. And then we'll follow that with uh, double sums. Um, and then we'll conclude with uh, much harder examples. Yeah? Okay, cool. So that's what's to come, but let's get started here with the introduction. All right. Um, now, a lot of math seems esoteric, but it's not really hard. Yeah? If you're not intimidated by it. So all that sigma means is add. So sigma means add. And by the way, this is capital sigma. Uh, lowercase sigma you'll learn in calculus 2 uh, also means add. Uh, but anyway, sigma just means add, period. Yeah? Okay, cool. So, uh, what does this mean here? First, sigma always has a start and an index. Some, um, you know, indices that are typical are i and then j and k. Uh, I'm gonna, like, you know, get away from i uh, because, um, you know, we know that i is equal to uh, the square root of negative 1. I don't want anyone to be confused by that. So I'll just use um, j, k, and n. But anyway, these are some typical uh, choices of variable when you're using sigma. But um, yeah, here is the start, and here's where to end, and here is uh, what you're replacing, right? Um, so, so here, it's sometimes a lot more complicated an expression. It's not just k sometimes. It could be k squared. It could be k squared plus 3k. It could be something much more complicated inside of sigma. But what's inside of sigma is what you replace by uh, starting with uh, k equals 1 in this case, and then going to k equals 2, and then uh, continuing to the next integer, and then the next one, until uh, you see where to stop. And so here, uh, we have a quick stop. We're just going to start with k equals 1, and then go to k equals 2, and then go to k equals 3, and the only thing we're replacing is just a k. So we have... Uh, replaces k with 1 to start, and that's this one, and then sigma means add, therefore plus, and then uh, we go from this start to the next integer, and so that's 2 in this case, and all we replace is k, so we just have 2, and then sigma means add, therefore we go plus, and we continue on to the next integer after 2, and that's 3, and then we see here that we have to end there, and so we end there, and so here we just have 1 plus 2 plus 3, which is 6. Yeah? All right. Cool, cool, cool. Also, um, it's very typical uh, to just have a 3 here as opposed to k equals 3 here. Once you specify your index, the index over which you're adding here um, at the start, then you don't need to also have it at the top, which is the end, right? All right, all right, all right. Cool, you get it, you get it. Um, so let's move on to the next guy. The next guy um, has 2k as the expression inside of sigma. But you're used to it at this point, so we start with k equals 1, and then go to k equals 2, uh, and then go to k equals 3, which it looks like is where we have to end. But then, um, other than that, we're replacing this k with 1, 2, and 3, and sigma means put a plus sign in between. So uh, we have 2 times 1, and then sigma means add, therefore plus 2 times 2, and sigma means add, therefore plus, and then 2 times 3, and so this time we have a total of 12. Yeah? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, so, our next example. What about this? Um, and again, our uh, start and end is the same, but our expression here is slightly different. It's 2k plus 5. But notice that while the expression here, 2k plus 5, is different from the expression 2k, um, in both cases, the only thing that we can replace is just this k, right? This k here attached to the 2, being multiplied by the 2, I should say. Yeah? Okay, so um, here we know that our result has to look different. And so um, otherwise, but I shouldn't say and so otherwise, I should say but otherwise, it's going to go similarly to how this went, right? So we start with k equals 1 and replace this k, and so we get 2 times 1, but then we have the plus 5 this time, so we have to write plus 5. 
And then we go to the next integer, k equals 2. So we have 2 times 2 plus 5. And uh, the sigma uh, plus sign is right here. And then another one right here, right? And so then we uh, lastly go to 2 times 3 and then plus 5. And we know that uh, by the time we have replaced this k with a 3, we need to end. And so we know that this is the end. And again, this plus sign, this plus sign are the two from sigma, right? Okay. Uh, but otherwise, you know, I just simplified. I said 5 plus 5 plus 5 is 15, and then 2, and then plus 4 plus 6 is 12. Uh, and so the answer is uh, 12 plus 15, which is 27, but I intentionally wanted to leave it this way so that you can see why the next uh, example has to work out the way it does. Yeah? You could uh, just merely compare this here uh, to this here to find out what the answer to this has got to be, right? The answer to this, uh, uh, the sum from k equals 1 to 3 of 5, that's how you'd read it. Let me backtrack and uh, show you how you read this. Uh, so this second guy here, uh, you'd read as the sum from k equals 1 to 3 of k, right? This third guy here, you'd read the sum from k equals 1 to 3 of 2k, and you get it. And so this time you'd read the sum from k equals 1 to 3 of 2k plus 5. But here, in our last guy, we just have to say the sum from k equals 1 to 3 of 5. Notice that there's no k inside of sigma. So what this means is when k equals 1, we just assign a value of 5. Because it's not like 5 times k, and so it's not 5 times 1. It's just when k equals 1, assign the value 5. When k equals 2, what do you do? You assign the value 5 again. You assign the value 5 for any k, right? And so when k equals 3, we assign the value 5, and therefore we have 5 plus 5 plus 5, which is 15. But like I said, you should have known that the answer to um, the sum from k equals 1 to 3 of 5 needs to be 15 merely by comparing this here uh, to this here, right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, so this is it for uh, the intro video. And like I said, many more videos to come. And if you have any questions um, from um, this video, then uh, leave those questions in the comments section and I'll try to answer them as quickly as I can. But otherwise, I hope you learned a lot. Take care.